Hey everybody and welcome back to some more Oxygen Not Included. We're here on cycle 20 of the Sneezing Pit. Everyone's in bed, getting a nice sleep at the end of the day. And I have a couple of ideas for what I want to do in today's episode. The first thing that I would like to do is move this supercomputer. Because as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, quite a bit of carbon dioxide over here. And after reading the comment section uh, between episodes, I have been told that gas doesn't pass through water. And so even if we do put some airflow tiles uh, kind of on the bottom here and then on the top here, it's not going to allow the gas to move through the water. It can't go that way. Uh, so we just kind of have to wait for all of the gas to move kind of through down the tunnel and to our algae terrariums um, above this lovely pit of uh, food poisoning infested water that we have. Um, also, I think if we were to dig like this, uh, someone in the comment section did say that we can probably have all of the water move from the sides to the middle. And then if we put a pitcher pump above that section, they will slowly but surely use that water for things around the base, you know, so we won't have to hopefully have this here forever. We can kind of slowly but surely get rid of it. Um, as I did mention, it is slightly infested with food poisoning uh, due to the fact that somebody peed in it in the last episode, which is not great. Uh, but um, I think with the immunity levels at 100%, uh, people should be fine using the water that's slightly infected for the time being. Um, and so long as we don't get it in any of our big bodies of water, uh, we should be fine, hopefully, uh, in the long run here. Now, another thing that we do have to worry about or have to start thinking about is decor because um, I think one of the reasons that our duplicates are getting stressed, apart from the fact that the base is a bit of a mess and some of them can't breathe where they work, um, I think one of the reasons is that decor is overall kind of bad. You know, it's, it's all right up here where they sleep. It's not terrible. It's pretty bad where there's like a bunch of uh, stuff that needs sweeping up. But around the rest of the base, uh, in the places where the duplicates spend most of their days, the decor is not great, so I would like to start putting down maybe some uh, some sculptures, maybe some artwork. Uh, for that, we do have to actually go ahead and research um, artistic expression. And also, uh, we have to decide on who is going to do that artistic work. Uh, right now, I guess James is the best suited to do that. Uh, he has a creativity of two compared to, uh, I guess, Nick, who has creativity one. And then Isaac and Sarah are just not very good at creativity. Even at creativity two, James is not going to be super good at uh, producing like works of art or paintings or anything like that um we do have a new duplicate ready to go ari who does have creativity seven which is plus 70 decoration speed um, and i think just also in general makes him produce better decor which people like more and therefore increases the decor bonus even higher he's a quick learner um, and so he has learning plus five he's also not bad for research as well as small bladder he does pee more but that's not terrible his decor expectation is zero his stress response is Ugly Cryer. I think I'm going to take this guy. Uh, let's rename this to uh, Iskal. Somebody in the comment section asked that we have um, a duplicate called Iskal. So we'll go ahead and print this guy out. Uh, we have rapidly expanded here to six or five duplicates, which is more than I wanted to have at this stage in the game. We don't necessarily need to have uh, six duplicates right now. Um, but for the time being, I don't think it's necessarily going to be a bad thing. Uh, let me see here. How am I going to go about putting um, a pitcher pump here? I think... If I get rid of these ladders, um, I think just putting this down here, I think they can stand on top of the pitcher pump. And so if we can get rid of these, I think I can put it like right here. Maybe? Really? I have to get rid of one more? Okay, can we get rid of that real quick and then, then put it down? Uh, we can indeed. Cool. So I'll put that there. Um, I'm hoping they can access that. I might have to build um, some odd ladder and maybe even move our algae terrarium if people want to actually be able to use it. Because I would like to disable this, disable building. I don't want people using that. So if someone could go and turn that off, I don't know how that works. Okay, that's turned off. Uh, can they get down here is my next question. I don't think they can, unfortunately. And so what I'm going to have to do, I think, is do something like this, maybe. And if I get rid of that block there, I'm hoping they can kind of move across and down like that. We'll see. I'm hoping that works. I think it should. Um, also, people did point out, uh, first of all, that I need to copy this over. So I'll copy settings, paste that there. Uh, but also, if we set the priority here of our storage compactors uh, to something like six, make it higher uh, than the base priority level, our duplicates should spend their free time sweeping things up. So if they have nothing else to do, instead of being idle, they'll kind of walk around and start sweeping things up. Uh, that does mean, however, that we do have to set the priority of other things even higher. For example, I want research to be done uh, before sweeping is done. I also want our power to be generated before sweeping is done. Uh, I want food to be created 
before sweeping is done. You get the idea. Um, another thing that people pointed out is that we should probably have a wash basin or some kind of sink between us and the food so that whenever somebody goes to work on the food or to get food out of the ration box or anything like that, they don't end up infecting the food if they do indeed have food poisoning. And so uh, what I'm going to do here before we get to doing that, let me deconstruct our supercomputer uh, because we've got no research assigned right now. Let's also go into art and basically tell... Uh, everybody to stop doing art apart from Iskal. He's going to be our artist. And then if we go over to, is it furniture? Yeah. Let's get some blank canvases down, shall we? In our bedroom. Actually, no, the bedroom is kind of fine in terms of decor, which has got a bit of stuff that needs sweeping up. Let's start like down here because in here it is a complete mess. Can I not build there because of the, uh, because they grow there? That is annoying. Let's build like here and here and then, yeah, let's have like a few going down like that and that. And then I guess we can have one like here and here. I do quite like symmetry. Uh, I can't really do it in here. But also, we're going to move that room around. So we'll get back to that one in a second. Let's also do like here and here. We might even put something like a sculpture maybe into the uh, the shower room like that. Yeah, I think that works out fine. Uh, also, now that I think about it, we can't do that because I want to put my supercomputer there. Uh, so let's go to uh, science stations. What am I missing? I'm missing... Raw metal? Really? I don't have any metal. Okay, that's fine. We've got metal kind of in abundance around us, at least for now. So we'll grab all of that. Uh, we'll go grab that in the morning. Stress is coming down, which is good. Uh, also, I think someone did mention that Nick is currently not allowed on the massage table. Um, so I will go ahead and allow Nick and Isaac back on the massage table. Uh, we don't have one right now, uh, but we will put another one down fairly shortly. And hopefully that will allow us to get Nick's stress to kind of come down just a little bit, uh, which should hopefully be quite good. Uh, my next worry now, now that we've got five duplicates, I think we should still be okay on oxygen. Uh, let's have a look. Yesterday, we produced 283 kilograms of oxygen and used 234. So we are still producing more oxygen than we're consuming. Uh, my big concern is that we're not going to be producing enough food. I think right now we're producing um, mush bars. Oh, no, we are producing life stuff, so that's fine. Uh, we can always produce mush bars if we need to. Uh, can people use this pitcher pump? It does say unbreathable, which I, I get. Uh, I don't like that they're down there. I know why they're down there. It's because things need sweeping up. Um, hopefully, they won't get too stressed being down there because we do now have uh, the shower allowing them to not be sopping wet. We can kind of get them them dried out. And they can still reach the algae terrariums. And so I think for now, everything is kind of okay. Um, I think the canvases, once they get... These guys are just building them. They're not painting them. Once they're built, um, Iskal will run around and do some, uh, some painting, which is fine. Things are being swept up, which is good. Uh, how are we doing in terms of decor now? Yeah, you can see now that everything's swept up out of this bedroom up here, or this, uh, what is it called? The barracks. Now that everything's swept up out of our barracks up here, the decor is kind of high all around, which is good. And so that should start to just generally bring stress down. There's this guy going to town with his paint gun, painting away. Hopefully we get like a Mona Lisa here, a really nice painting that people like to see. Uh, let me get another supercomputer down right smack bang in the middle here and of course it doesn't fit it's not central that is real freaking annoying but i guess i'll put it like there for the time being um and then are we missing more metal we are indeed flipping egg. okay um in that case then it might not be a bad idea for us to kind of build out over here and grab all of this metal maybe uh yeah hopefully the water doesn't spill out too much here i don't think it should uh, because we've got this raw metal behind it. But once that's built, uh, we'll go and just kind of issue a dig command for all of this. Uh, hopefully, Isaac doesn't get too, too sopping wet while he's down there. Look at this. Look at this beautiful masterpiece. I like it. Um, I think they did add new artwork in the newer updates as well, which is quite nice. We have had a food shortage, which is not good. Uh, let me cycle mush bars here. We'll turn mush bars on and lice stuff off real quick so that we can try and get uh, some food going. Again, it's not going to be great food at all, but it's going to be better than nothing, I think. Uh, carbon dioxide is quite rich down here, which is not great. Uh, it is slowly moving from above the water down into this pit, which is good. I think our algae deoxidizers up here are helping with that. You can see we are reaching max gas pressure, which is why um, I think all of the carbon dioxide is kind of being pushed down uh, more and more so. Um, it might not even be a bad idea for us to put another algae deoxidizer like right about here. Um, again, it is going to use more algae. Uh, how much do we have right now? Let me uh, hook that up. How much algae do we currently have? We've got 5.6 tons, um, but so we're not really shy. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I love that. Like a screaming uh, duplicate. I like it. I'm interested to see what the rest of these look like. I really hope we get a nice kind of diverse range of um, 
of, of art pieces. I think that could look pretty cool. Uh, also, we do not have, I don't think, a research selected now. So let me go and probably get internal combustion going because power is kind of something that we're going to have to start worrying about now. You know, we don't want to have to have Nick on the wheel all day every day and then lose power when Nick goes to take a bathroom break or something like that. So uh, having power ready to go is going to be um, only a good thing, I think. Uh, also, can I get like this stuff dug out here with a higher priority so we can uh, continue to build things? Uh, also, I'm going to have to put a bit of a ladder there. Otherwise, whoever goes down there is going to be trapped forever, which, uh, of course, is not really what we're after. Um, also, someone did point out in the comment section that um, our polluted water here does have food poisoning. And although you can filter polluted water back into normal water, that process doesn't get rid of the food poisoning. Um, also, apparently, just everybody has food poisoning now, which is not particularly great. No, Isaac doesn't seem to have it. I think just... Whoever's in this toilet here has it. There's Iskal with another screaming portrait. I like it a lot. Uh, Iskal is also doing work on the research for now. Although Iskal is not bad at research by any stretch of the imagination. Also, did that change? Oh, no, that's consumables. I didn't know uh, that was a thing. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, although Iskal is not necessarily bad at research, for the time being, I am going to turn him off of that because I kind of want to focus on, uh, on getting the decor up around the base. I mean, look at this. A mediocre sculpture. He's not the best at sculpturing, I guess, then. Uh, but he does produce masterpieces when it comes to painting, which is fantastic. Um, also, we do have to hook up our supercomputer to some power. Like so. Uh, how is this doing? Not great. Insufficient resources. Water. Okay, so it looks like they can't access this. They can't get to uh, the pitcher pump, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure why they can't get to it but i have a feeling that it has to do with the fact that um maybe they can't stand on the algae terrariums if i delete this algae terrarium and actually let's set it to like a priority seven deletion um is that going to allow them to kind of jump down onto the pitcher pump and then back up again because uh, i think the reason why the micro musher is not working as well is due to the fact that they can't access the water which hopefully they will now be able to do maybe also, hopefully, yeah, oxygen is uh, looking a lot nicer kind of around here now that we put down this uh, algae deoxidizer, which is waiting for algae. Uh, we should bump these up to like a priority six at the least so that we make sure they are full of algae at any given time. Can you guys really not access this, this pump here? Really? I would have thought they could. I'm going to give it a second here because I think they might be able to. Also, there's this guy putting down yet another painting. But it does look like they can't reach it. So in that case, let me like order the deconstruction of that as well. And let's put like another ladder that goes right down like that. I feel like that should definitely be able to reach it, right? Also, stress is right down now. 6%. I like it. Uh, Nick is currently the most stressed. But even that is um, quite low. Yeah, let's get this done at like a priority 7. Okay, so really... I am hoping this is going to allow them to access this water again and kind of get things back online. There we go. Isaac's using the pitcher pump. Okay, cool. So again, the water does have food poisoning, uh, but I don't think, for example, using this water to power the algae terrarium, I don't think it matters. I don't think the algae terrarium is going to suffer from that food poisoning, so I think it should be fine. Um, I do, however, want to uh, do the whole wash basin thing. So let me deconstruct the med bed. Uh, we're going to have to find a new place to put that, although we are kind of running out of space here, which is not the best. I do want to kind of still move this water so that we can get another level going at the bottom here. But uh, it looks more and more like we might have to dig out this top level here. Uh, but then again, look at how much algae we've got. We've got so much algae. I love it. Uh, we've got 5.2 tons in reserve and then like an extra, hopefully, couple of tons up here, which is always good. Uh, we're digging out more metal, which is nice. Uh, we've got 5.2 tons of raw metal, which is good. Uh, med bed is being dug up. Um, and I think what I'm going to have to do is maybe kind of tile off this bit here and then move the micro musher to the other side and then put a sink here so that people who want to get to the micro musher or get to the ration box do have to walk through and wash their hands on the way in or on the way out. I think on the way in makes sense. I don't think they have to wash their hands on the way out because it's not going to, they're not going to get germs by eating the food, I don't think. Um, and so that should be fine. Let's uh, bump this priority up, can we, real quick? Just to get this done. Um, the, the nice thing about having more duplicates, though, is that we do get things done uh, nice and quick, which is always good. What are people working on right now? And why is no one doing research? I think it's because this is not set to priority seven. And so currently, 
I bet our research, yeah, we've done all the basic uh, research, the novice research, but we haven't done the, uh, the intermediate research because the supercomputer is of a lower priority. Priority management is something we have to kind of keep an eye on um, and make sure everything's kind of set up correctly. Otherwise, people do end up going all over the place. Yeah, you can see right now, even though we've got Nick running on this thing full time, and even though Nick is grimy, stress is down at 0%, which I like. Uh, we're not producing enough power, which is why I'm trying to kind of mainline that coal generator. Uh, I think we're probably going to put the coal generator down here because uh, the coal generator does produce heat. And I believe it also produces carbon dioxide. And uh, so this is kind of the perfect place for it, at least for the time being. Uh, let us build another micro musher, which I think is under stations. Nope, is it under food? Of course, yeah. Let's put that down right about there. We could build an electric grill, but I don't think it's really that useful right now. Uh, also, under food, let me finish this real quick. Uh, also under food, we have the um, farm tile. Grows a single plant when sown with a seed. Now, that is the exact same description as the planter box. Grows a single plant when sown with a seed. I think the difference between the farm tile and the planter box, apart from the fact that the farm tile um, is an actual tile that you can build into the floor, I think the farm tile can make use of fertilizer, which I believe we do have uh, in our storage here. Uh, I could probably actually look up here, agricultural. Yeah, we've got 670 kilograms of fertilizer, and so I think we could be growing our mealwood faster if we had them growing out of farm tiles. And so um, what I will do, I don't want to delete these right now because they are kind of our only source of food outside of these um, mush bars, which are not really that great. Also, let's get this done ASAP, please. Uh, but I don't want to stop these just yet, uh, but we do want to replace those, I think, with growth tiles or farming tiles as soon as possible. Also, let's get rid of this at a priority seven. Let's make our new micro musher also a priority seven and then set up uh, some kind of sink between those two. Uh, it is a sink and not um, one of these water basins here, and so we are going to have to run um, liquid pipes to and from it. That's fine. We'll just do something like actually we should probably set these at priority seven something like this and then also i guess something like this and this might be where we have to use our first liquid bridge uh to kind of uh is it o to rotate isn't it i keep pressing r to rotate and it's still not r uh liquid bridge o and i think you want it like that so that the water comes in like that and then goes straight through and out and we'll have that connected to our outflow pipe, which, of course, is going right round and to our uh, polluted water source. Uh, we are going to have to start working with this pretty soon because, as you can see, it's filling up quite quickly. Um, and although we do have, I guess, in theory, until it gets all the way up to this level here, we don't want to let that get uh, too far ahead of us. You know, we don't want that at all spilling over. If it does, we're kind of in for um, a bit of a disaster. And so we want to keep an eye on that as much as possible. Can I mop this yet? I can. Okay, fantastic. So let's do some... Uh, mopping here let's get rid of all of this stuff as soon as we can so we're left with a bit of a pit but actually a room that we can use and hopefully a room that we can start putting um, our coal generator into that would be fantastic um james is on the wheel now are james and nick both wheel people uh power where's power at power's here uh, oh yeah nick is um athletics nine and then james is athletics 16 so we do want james on there more than nick actually to be fair pretty much anybody can get on the power wheel so it's not really too big of a deal either way really uh, we do have what looks to be like a mona lisa duplicate edition there which i like another painting done as well iskal is on fire just getting paintings done all over the place and already you can see the decor around the base is significantly nicer than it was before uh let's see here furniture uh, do I want to put down another one like right here? I think I do. I think I'll work out quite nicely. Uh, would still love one in here, but unfortunately we can't. I might go ahead and get rid of one of these plant boxes maybe and put a sculpture in the middle. Um, although I think what we're basically going to have to do is just accept that the decor here is not particularly great, um, at least for the time being. Oh, what is the sound? Food is decaying. Okay, that's fine. Uh, it does remind me though that we should work towards getting a refrigerator and so i'll set that going as the next research i'm not interested in a new duplicate um i think we could theoretically handle six uh, but i think for now five is uh, is more than enough uh, let's issue some more sweep commands here to get the excess water taken care of yet again um, and then again hopefully they will uh ooh, yeah i've made a mistake here uh, because what they're gonna do is they're going to pump this water that is poisoned that has food poisoning into this body of water here um and so let me disable this real quick uh disable building please stop putting water in there and i think temporarily oh i'm gonna have to find a place to put all that water because they've got there's all this water down here that some of it has food poisoning and some of it doesn't 
And I don't think there's an easy way... Like, our duplicates don't know which one has food poisoning in. And so, I think, <laughs> for the time being, I'm going to have to set this bottle emptier to allow water and to set it to a high priority so that hopefully uh, they'll begin taking this bottle of water and putting it in here. That is going to fill this up even faster than I wanted it to. Um, but it's hopefully going to keep as much food poisoning as we can out of our water source. You can see there's a bit there. Can I disinfect that ladder? Is it the ladder or is it the... I think it's the water. I'm really hoping that we just don't infect this whole body here with food poisoning, which we would definitely do if we were to put all of those bottles uh, into there. So, yeah, you can see here this is filling up quite rapidly. Hopefully, it doesn't get above that line. If it does, we could go in for like a last resort tile right here to give us a bit more. Even that wouldn't really work. We are going to have to start thinking about what we do with that as soon as possible. James is not doing anything. I'm not quite sure why. Is he incapable of moving these? Oh, they can't get to those. I see. Um, okay, in that case, then we'll leave those there for now. We can come back to those in the future. Let us get a coal generator up and running, like right there. And then also power uh, wires. And let's run this all the way along. And for now, it's going to look a bit weird. Actually, let's run it just like straight up like this. So at this point, we do have to start thinking about how our grid is going to be set up. Because as I mentioned a few times uh, in the past here, you can only have a thousand watts worth of power running through any grid at any given time and so what we're going to have to do is kind of break up our grid into smaller grids that don't exceed a thousand watts and so if we just for now i think uh, delete this power wire here and then connect this power wire up here that should mean that this micro motion, so 240 watts uh, plus 120 watts is 360, plus another 120 there is 480. So we'll have 480 kind of on the left side uh, being powered by the coal generator. Um, and actually, we could probably have that hooked up as well and then delete this here um, so that both of our algae terrariums are hooked up by our power source that's more reliable. You know, with the, obviously, the, the manual generator is going to go offline whenever... James or Nick decide they don't want to run anymore, uh, whereas the coal generator is going to keep working uh, pretty much throughout. And so, let me see here. Power, wires, and then they've already got rid of that good. So, uh, this thing here, what, we've got 580, so 600 watts uh, on this side. And then on this side, uh, we've got, what, 60, 120, um, and then 360, 400. So, on this side, we've got exactly 400 set up. So, we've got exactly as much as the power wheel can handle on the right side. And on the left side, we've got our coal generator, uh, which I need to set at a higher priority as well as all the wires, uh, because otherwise we are going to be uh, in the situation we're in right now where our micro musher and all of our algae terrariums have stopped working uh, because we don't have any power. Uh, speaking of algae terrariums, though, oxygen generation is doing really well. Uh, let's have a look at our uh, previous report. Uh, we're still producing way in excess in terms of oxygen, which is good. Uh, we're producing more power than we use, which is good. Uh, stress is going down massively, which is great. Calories are in a bit of an odd predicament. We are still at a food shortage, and so I think uh, it is pretty much at that time. Also, they managed to get those uh, bottles, I guess. I'm not quite sure how they cracked that one. Um, also, I hate that they have not... Oh, there's no tiles here, I forgot. Let me put tiles down like this as well so they can... So the water stops flowing. Hopefully, it'll flow back that way. Can we make those a... Uh, a high priority. I know you don't like working down here because there's no carbon dioxide and it's also a complete mess, but we really need this uh, micro mushroom online, like ASAP. Is it up and running? It's not. That's because this guy's not built yet because he doesn't have a stable foundation. Okay, this is almost done though. People can't breathe. Stress is starting to rise ever so slightly, uh, but I'm confident that as soon as this is done, so long as nobody dies, which I don't think they should. Yeah, as long as no one dies, we should be fine here. Um, so again, let's do a, a mop command. Let's mop up all of this. And then once that coal generator is online, how much coal uh, do we have? Consumable oil. We've got 9.8 tons of coal. Uh, so for the time being, we are fine. Um, also, we have been trying to keep our uh, hatches alive. I think there's a few more yeah, hidden up here in this little uh, hatch-like nest. And so hopefully uh, we can use those for an infinite source of coal maybe going forward. Uh, also, let's set that to left because they don't need to wash on the way out, just on the way in. Uh, is that hooked up to water? I think it is. Although I didn't see Sarah wash her hands there on the way in. And she's got like a little sicky face, soggy feet. Okay. Uh, is this supposed to have water in it? Like, is it supposed to show water in the back there? Um, it does have water being pumped to it, in theory. And so I think it should be working. I'll keep an eye out for when somebody else goes to eat food. All right, everyone is idle. 
The coal generator was online. This is good. Uh, let us pick a new research so we can get people back to work here. Uh, I'm just going to pick... Uh, we'll go for medical research, I guess. Uh, maybe air systems. Yeah, carbon skimmer and the uh, electrolyzer are definitely going to be useful. We do want to be careful uh, with the electrolyzer. Is it the electrolyzer? I think it is. Um, the one that produces hydrogen as well. Um, yeah, produces oxygen and hydrogen using water. So we do have to be careful about that. Hydrogen is not something we want in our base. Um, and so that is something we do need to uh, think about as we go forward here. Uh, temperature is fine. Uh, there are a few things that are quite warm, especially our duplicates. Uh, but this will heat up down here as we start to uh, produce more power using the coal generator. But for the most part, things are looking pretty good. I am happy with where our colony is at. Um, for the most part, everything is um, oxidized nicely. Uh, we don't really need oxygen in here, although we could put some airflow tiles in uh, if we wanted better oxygen flow throughout the base. Uh, but really, everywhere is breathable. Everywhere that our duplicates spend time in is breathable. The decor everywhere where our duplicates spend time in is kind of fine. If anything, uh, Sarah might be the worst off in terms of decor because she doesn't have anything kind of in this area here and she's the closest uh, to all of our uh, plants, which are the least appealing apparently visually. Um, but other than that, things are looking fine. Let's check out germs. Yeah, this is really bad, <laughs> which is not great. There's a lot of food poisoning here and we are going to have to take care of that. Um, I'm not quite sure how we do get rid of this. I'm told that we have to heat the water up and then pump it back into like a safe body of water. Um, like I said, not quite sure how that's done. I'm assuming there's a research for it maybe. Uh, I guess we'll find out in the future. For now, we're going to keep using this water down here. That's fine. Uh, we'll re-enable this pitcher pump and this bottle emptier once we've got rid. Actually, we can re-enable this bottle emptier uh, right now, can't we? Enable building. And then for now, you can stop accepting water. All of the polluted water, uh, all of the... Um, Food poisoning water has now been cleaned up and put away. So we can re-enable that one. We can disable that one. I'm fairly certain that this one is already uh, not accepting polluted water. Uh, it is indeed good stuff. Okay, so now imminent problems. I'm going to pause real quick. It's quite a lot of our duplicates are idle. Um, imminent problems are food. I don't know if we're producing enough food. Uh, so I do want to upgrade these. Uh, actually, I'll do that right now. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. Um, also, is our ration box a seven? It is. Plants have died. Oh, yeah, I'm killing them. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to get rid of those. I'm going to replace those with uh, these farm tiles like that. Actually, uh, I'm going to cancel that one. I want the decor to look nice, but at the same time, we need the food is the thing. And so I'm going to plant five of these here. I don't know how much of an impact the fertilizer has, um, but I really want to put down um, some sculptures like either side, like here and here to try and make the whole thing look a little bit nicer. Uh, also, can I get like a priority seven on these? Get them done. And then once they're done, I want a priority seven on all of them anyway, because I want them all to be uh, refilled as soon as possible. So mealwood seed, plant, and then we'll copy settings and paste to all of those. Um, and then, yeah, we should really find another or create another level, um, maybe a bit higher or maybe even further out. I guess we could dig out over here and create, start creating new rooms on the left and right um, for more farming. That might not be a terrible idea. And I'm thinking that I might start over here just because I don't want to have to move this yet. Um, and it's kind of going to be fairly easy for us to do one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then we'll have like a wall or maybe another ladder or something there. And then like that. Yeah, if we dig out this area over here uh, and then we'll put some more plants in over on this side, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. Actually, we'll do one more. We'll do it like that. So we'll have the same setup that we have on the uh, over here. We'll do the same thing. We'll have a sculpture either side of our farming tiles to try and bring that decor up just a little bit, try and make it a little bit nicer uh, for everybody who has to kind of work in and around it. Although nobody's really working around here, but at the same time, it's nice to have, right? Um, so food shortage is, I think, one of our biggest problems, as well as this water here, which I think we're going to have to start taking care of next episode. I'll look into turning water, uh, or polluted water, back into normal drinking water. I guess for now, even if we don't get rid of the food poisoning, um, what we could do is just turn that into normal drinking water and then pump it back down into here. As odd as that might be, it's still going to be kind of in theme. You know, this is already polluted. Although, I guess we do kind of want to start moving away from using uh, water that is uh, full of food poisoning. But nevertheless, let's get down our plant boxes. We do also have a fridge now, which is good. Um, I kind of want the fridge in here, but we're running out of space quite quickly. Um, does the fridge hold everything that the ration box holds, but better? Is that like how that works? Um, stores food at an ideal temperature. Stores a small amount of food. Okay, so I think we could probably get rid of the ration box, maybe, and then replace that with a refrigerator. And if the refrigerator gets full, maybe two refrigerators going forward. Um, I think that could work out quite nicely here. So... I think this is going to be the last thing we do 
in today's episode. Also, again, I will put down uh, under furniture. We'll go and throw down two more sculptures here and here. Uh, people did tell me I should put my uh, algae terrariums in light. Uh, if you look at light levels, uh, they're not particularly high where our algae terrariums are, and they are more effective in light. And so that's still something uh, that we need to work on. I'll look into doing that in the next episode. Uh, the ration box is gone. Let's put down a fridge. The fridge does require power, and thankfully it is on the correct line for power here, because I'm pretty sure our coal generator uh, produces a thousand watts maximum. Uh, 600 watts. Is that its max? Let me see here. Coal generator. 600 watts so not quite a thousand and that might not really be enough to fill all of this up but then again um the micro mushroom is not being used all the time uh the research machine is not being used all the time and so i think for now uh, even though we do have more than 600 watts worth of things hooked up to it it should be fine uh, also can i get this fridge built yeah there we go thank goodness let's make sure that everything edible uh, is put in there can i get a high priority build on this wire please maybe like a seven get that done also i'll put the fridge at a seven just because i want things to be put in there as soon as possible we are at a food shortage i am aware of this uh, these need to be set to mealwood seeds plant and copy and paste okay things are looking good mediocre sculpture that's fine uh, the decor should still be higher yeah look at that our base is almost entirely green now apart from like the toilet room as well as the uh carbon dioxide filled mess down here but other than that things are looking good more sculptures are being built which is good hopefully a scale is getting slowly but surely better at building those sculptures uh can we get like uh, oh i didn't have this set up that's why uh can we get this set to make we got a lot of mealwood seeds um how much lice loaf do we have um a lice meal lice we'd have any Okay, let's again, let's set this back up making uh, mush bars on continuous. Um, I think that's why we are running out of food really quickly. We're down to our last 2,000 calories, which is not great. Um, but other than food and other than this, like, um, horrible water setup that we've got over here, everything else is good. Oxygen is great. Decor is good. I think for now, germs are under control. Uh, we should replace this with a sink as soon as possible. But for now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end today's episode of Oxygen Not Included. There, as always, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, subscribe if you're new. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.